Hello again everybody, it's the Reverend Jay Goldstein and today we're going to be enjoying this bottle of Japanese soda. Doesn't sound exciting? Well what if I said it like this? Here it is, Japanese soda! Have some Japanese soda! Okay, that might have been a little bit much, but I bet you're a little more excited about this Japanese soda. So let's go through the details real quickly before we open it up. It's a six ounce bottle, it's got 70 calories. I don't know what it's called because I don't read Japanese characters. If you do, please leave it in the comments below. Tell me what it's called, I'm kind of curious. Uh, it's raspberry flavor, even though uh, these things look like strawberries to me. It is raspberry flavor as it says it down here in English. It is comprised of carbonated water, three kinds of sugar, some kind of flavoring, and red dye. But the best part of this, it's in one of these cool bottles. What makes this bottle cool? Well, let me open it up and show you. Hey, let's get to know this bottle. All right, it's a pretty groovy looking bottle, uh, purple label, don't understand what the characters say, and the raspberries look a little more like strawberries, but here's the most groovy part. The bottle is actually in two different sections, a bottom section and a top section. And if I show you from the side, you'll see there's a little tube that goes between the two sections and allows the soda to flow freely. <laughs> Oh yeah, get rid of that protective wrapper. We don't need that anyway. Just grab that tab, pull it down. Yeah, you just slide that right off. And hey, what's that green? So this bottle comes with its own set of tools. Well, set of tool, one tool that is this bottle opener, which I knew as a bottle opener because I read the instructions. That's how I knew to take this ring off. The trick to using this bottle opener is in the bottle cap itself, which has a glass bead embedded in it. You simply push down on it and knock the bead into the bottle. And here comes the fun part. Just push down as hard as I can with my thumb. Oh, I'm all <laughs> That's the sound of victory. Ah, there's a bead on top of that little tube that keeps the two chambers apart. Now all I gotta do is remove the little bottle opener and I'm done. So I think you'll agree it's pretty fun to open up the bottle but how about the taste? Let's try this Japanese soda. Here it is Japanese soda. Have some Japanese soda. Bottoms up. Mm. Ooh fizzy. I think I got myself a Japanese soda mustache. This is pretty good. This tastes kind of like a uh, sweet unmedicine-y cough syrup is basically how I would describe this. Um, it's got a terrible after... Oh my gosh. It just got a mouthful of terrible aftertaste. Uh, you can't actually take a huge gulp of this because of the little glass bead it comes up and goes into the mouthpiece. So you only really ever get this much to drink at a time. Um, yeah, they, uh, aftertaste tastes kind of chemically, kind of like a thin film all around my mouth. Yep, it tastes like cough syrup, basically, except with sugar instead of whatever it is that makes cough syrup works, which is probably sugar. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know, do the stuff that you do at the bottom of the video, and I'll see you next time.